Let's take a look at this problem. Okay, uh, for the following exercise, use a vertex hk and a point on the graph xy to find the general form of the equation of the quadratic function. Now our, um, our standard form looks like this. Got f of x is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. Now remember, f of x we can replace with y. Now, h we're given, h is 3, we're given k, k is 2. Um, so we got h and k, the one thing we don't have is a. Uh, so that's our goal. Now they give us a, a point that we can plug in for x and y. So we can plug this in for x, and we plug this in for y. This is a specific instance that help us solve for a. Okay, so uh, y is 1. A, we don't know. Uh, X is 10 minus H, which is 3 squared, plus K, which is 2. Now I want to um, go through and solve this for A. 10 minus 3 is 7, so we got 7 squared plus 2. And 7 squared is 49, so we've got 49A. Plus 2. Now we're solving for a, so I could subtract 2 from both sides, uh, or you could simply take 2 over the left side. When you move anything across or equals, your sign changes. So it becomes a 1 minus 2. Um, that's equivalent to subtracting 2 from both sides. So that gives me negative 1 is equal to 49a. Divide both sides by 49. Forgive my poor writing. My nines kind of look like A's. And we get A is equal to negative 1 over 49. Okay, so now back to our uh, standard form here. And I'll use the second one. Remember, f of x and y are interchangeable. So we now know what A is. So we've got y is equal to negative 1 over 49. Now, x just remains the x, so we don't plug in the numbers uh, at this point. Minus h. And h is 3 squared plus k, which is 2. Okay, so we got negative 1 over 49. x minus 3 squared means x minus 3 times x minus 3. Now I'm going to um, multiply these together, FOIL them, if you've uh, heard that uh, term. Uh, the FOIL refers to F for the first terms, so X times X. The uh, O for outer, X times negative 3. The inner terms, negative 3 times X. And the last terms, negative 3 times negative 3. And plus 2. So I got negative 1 over 49. x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Three negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Three negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. Plus 2. And combined together like terms. Negative 3x, negative 3x is negative 6x. Okay, so let me um, scroll down here a little bit. Now I'm going to multiply that negative 1 over 49 through. Distributed property. So we'll take negative 1 over 49 times x squared, times negative 6x, and times 9. So that gives us negative 1 over 49 x squared. Negative 1 over 49 times negative 6. Uh, negative times negative is positive. 1 over 49 times 6 gives us 6 over 49 with an x. 
Negative 1 over 49 times 9 gives us minus a negative times a positive. And 1 over 49 times 9 gives us 9 over 49. Plus, now I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the 2 as 2 over 1. Because we'll want to combine these uh, numbers together here at the end. Now we have to get a common denominator. In case you're wondering, if you remember the mixed number rule, you could also use that on this, but I'm doing it uh, this method. Um, since this denominator is 1, our common denominator would be the other one, which is 49. So I multiply the bottom part by 49. 1 times 49 is 49. I have to multiply the top part by 49. And what's that give us? Uh, 98. Assuming I'm doing my math in the, my head correctly. Negative 1 over 49 x squared plus 6 over 49 x. Now, since these have the same denominator, I'll combine the top parts together. So 98 minus 9, um, is that 89? Over 49. And that would be your answer.